Celebrating Newton's musical talent. This is Ellen Myers, Director of Programs and Communications at the Newton Free Library, coming to you from the library's art gallery to tell you about Strike a Chord Live Music at the Library. On Saturday, May 30th, the library will overflow with music on three separate stages. We have professional musicians, all from Newton, who will be performing on either the plaza stage outside in front of the library, in Drucker Auditorium, our traditional concert space, or on the second floor in the teen area, which will be transformed into a stage specifically for this event. We're so excited to have Newton school groups involved. Mason Rice will be sending over their third grade recorder students. Then at the middle school level, the All City Troubadours Honors Choir will perform, and both high schools are involved. Newton North High School will be sending over a small jazz ensemble, and Newton South High School will be sending over a vocal ensemble. Then there are the music schools in Newton. The Suzuki School will be sending over some teachers and also students to perform, and the All Newton Music School will be sending over a professional ensemble of their teachers with Scott Woolweaver on viola. Then we'll have lots more professional musicians. Deborah Charnas and Michael Charnas will be performing classical music. We'll have Next Tet, a group of local jazz musicians. And a rock band, X-17, is performing outside. Of course, if it rains, we'll have to move them inside into the library. So don't worry, the festival will happen, rain or shine. There are more musicians on the lineup. Altogether, 14 acts. So come on down and catch the beat on Saturday, May 30th. It's all free at the Newton Free Library.